Hello, my name is Patrick Devine. My main thing that I enjoy is product design and innovation. I like to make uh, prototypes of new and unusual things. Um, I joined TOG about two years ago and found it really fantastic with all the different things that you can do from uh, electronics to coding to uh, CAD. Around the time I joined, they got a new Prusa printer. It's a 3D printer and uh, has great quality and it's very user friendly so I wanted to use it so then I thought to myself right what am I gonna make for some reason an egg cup came into my head uh, an egg cup and a saucer and then I want something to put my salt on so I can have a bit of salt in each part of the egg now I could you can go on to find files in places like Thingiverse uh, and then use them but I'd like to uh, I'd like to I've done some modeling 3d modeling so I like to make my own thing and uh, I use on shape I really like on shape this is the model that I've made it's a uh, it's only just a test it's only just to, to test out the the uh, thing but uh, it's not actually user friendly but that's this is what I've got into okay so for the next couple of minutes I'm just gonna do a quick demo of how to create a basic 3d uh, model and then when that's finished then save the file as an STL file and then Put that into software called a uh, slicer which slices it into layers that the 3d printer can then use and um, turn that into g code so i'm just going to go through the, the basics of it in the next one or two minutes um, so the two pieces of software i'm using is on shape which is free to use and um, the buyback for them is that the stuff that you use when it's in free mode is public to everyone um, and the other software is uh Prussia slicer there's lots of different slicers but that's Prussia slicer because it's the Prussia 3d printer to print on and um, that's what i'm using so those two pieces are free to and you download them in five minutes so i'll just uh create this is an unshape now start the uh create document just say test create this public document so um if you have intellectual property or any patents kind of situations you have to take that into account but uh so I just open it up, calling a test uh, in 3D. In this uh, software, you have um, planes, top plane, front plane, right plane. Um, so that's you, you draw sketches on the planes and then you can extrude out. So it's asked me to pick a plane and go on to top. And um, just gonna create a simple little circle and then turn that into a, a saucer kind of, and then hollow it out. And then it's going to like dimension a lot of this if it's in dimensions. So okay, just 200 mil dimension, and then go to extrude out 25 mil. Just make it 10, nice and quick and simple. So we just have a disc there now. Uh, okay, so you just basically have a disc at the moment. Um, you can use a shell tool show that again two and a half minutes grand for what we're doing just doing a little demo so um that's grand so we have there now a kind of a my version of a saucer anyway but uh that's what it is what it is and then i'm going to draw another sketch just to make the little egg cup kind of shape uh plane again i'm going to do it like that draw a circle again i make this as quick as painless as possible you know, and again, just dimension that circle. Because then when you dimension it, then it's, uh, it doesn't really change enough after that. So, okay, we got, chill, and we're gonna extrude it to, you can extrude it to any d dimensions and lengths of what you come for, uh, say 70. So, now, um, 70. So I see it there now. So what I want to kind of make a little, you can make a draft on it. So draft turns the uh, angle. That's three degrees set and standard. So we're going for seven degrees. So we go for that. Where are we at now? We have a little saucer kind of thing. And this is kind of an egg cup, egg cup shape. And again, we're just going to shell out this piece here. It's two and a half. This time we go four mil make it a little bit stronger so we're coming to something that's yeah it's, it's doable as a shape that we could uh, save as a print i'm just going to put a little um 
fillet on the little edge here. Just a uh, 10 mil fillet, just give it a bit of strength and make it look a bit. Now you can chamfer all the edges, you can do lots of different stuff with this and you can spend time just exploring it. But just for now, that will be our, our model. And I'm gonna say, okay, let's save that. So we go in, um, we have it called test. So, um, QX, and, uh, export, export that as an STL file. Again, we call it test. STL file, it's in millimeters, resolution is fine. You can go through all these options again if you're, if you're using it yourself. Um, so then, okay, so test one, save that as an STL. Now, now um, that's saved. Okay, so once you have the STL file saved, um, you open the slicer software to create the, to show, to take, turn the graphic 3D model into a file that the 3D printer can actually uh, use, which would be G code, which you get to by slicing the uh, 3D graphic model. So the software I'm using is Prussia Slicer. Um, I then import this. What you see on the screen is the um, the bed of the 3D printer. So I'm just importing test one file we saved. And you can see the file is now just brought in again graphically and you just position that on the bed of the 3D printer wherever you, wherever suits, suits you. As long as it's inside the, uh, the boundary of the 3D printer, it seems to always work. So it's whatever's your preference. Um, in the slicer, you can adjust for the quality, how quickly you want to get it done, how, uh, how thick you want the layers, um, the material you want to use, ABS, PLA. Um, I always check to see what's on the, the spool of the 3D printer really, and then just go from there then. Uh, unless you have specifics that you need. Um, and then the different types of 3D printer, the Prussia th Mark III is what's is still here. Um, again, you can go into more details uh, about print settings, filament settings, and printer settings. Um, again, for this, I'm just going into leave it all as default and just go to slice now. So. When you just start slicing, basically what it does, it turns that graphic uh, 3D model into 2D layers, uh, the very thin slices that the printer then can then can print out and just keeps layering up, layering up, layering up the model. It takes a long time to, to make a 3D print, but um, you can adjust as you go along. So that's slicing now. And uh, may take a couple of seconds slicing. Okay, so as now export G code. So that's done. So if you export G code, it comes in as a notepad file. So that's the file that the actual 3D printer then. Um, so I'm gonna say then egg cup and test one PLA. I'm gonna save it there, we already have it exists, so okay. No, we don't replace it, we already have one there. So we'll just actually open up the file, show you the G code so and then, um, That's the uh, that's the uh, the G code there. It just shows you all the parameters of the file to start, where to start at zero zero zero, and the the layers, the thickness of the layers, and the infill and that kind of stuff. So, and then it just goes into X, Y, and Z positions that the the uh, printer then uh, prints out and follows that. So that's the G code, and that's. Uh, the next part done, you just save that file and then put it on an SD card to go into the, um, to be inserted into the printer. So you can see the SD card there at the side of the uh, control box there in the, the Prussia printer. Um, you have your file in there and you open up the screen uh, at your file that you want and just press play really. Um, there's not much to it from that then. The machine then just starts itself up. Uh, 
finds its position and uh, find its zero point and then does a few lap laps around the, the bed of the machine and then starts to extrude. Um, it's uh, there's a great community in, in Togs that does some CAD drawings as well, so they're always there to help. So you should uh, try and look. And so the three D print continues on for a number of hours, and um, you have to consider these things in the final outcomes. Uh, you have to consider how long it takes to print these things, what the surface finish look, and if you want to make a complex object, maybe break it down to smaller parts.